Hey, Dreamcast84 here. Uh, yeah, it's about time to do the twin sticks. We're going to do uh, this big old box right here. Now, it's got little Japanese artwork on it. I'm going to show you the pictures. I'm going to take a ton of pictures like I do with the other stuff. This is kind of like archival type stuff that I'm doing, but it's also just kind of, um, you know, showing off my collection without showing off my collection, you know what I mean? Um, I'll, I'll just open this while I talk about it. So, uh, this is a Japanese only product, I believe, and, uh, there are a couple of games that are, uh, supportive of this game. Um, I think it's like Virtua On Oratorio Tangram, Tangram, and, uh, you've got, uh, I don't know, Cyber Troopers or whatever the heck. I'm going to have to do a little quick, uh, set there's nothing really in the box it's just an empty box um i'm sure it came with the um instructions but uh i'm just happy to have the box because uh i have some stuff in box and some things that aren't in box but as you can see i'm holding it right here so you can get kind of a good little view of this um i might get another uh, little segment uh, just out in the sun it's got a big old start button just bam can't miss it i love that and you got these little top two small orange buttons you got two orange triggers so all you got is the movement of both sticks triggers whatever um the uh, robot game or whatever that is you know good on this uh it's the controls are just not me uh i like controls to make sense and if you have to have a little bit of a learning curve that's okay but um if it's really bad you just want to you know i don't know this is a curiosity this is more of a uh, collector's item. People mod these. Um, they do something to it to make it uh, good. I like the uh, design of the whole thing. The whole thing is pretty sweet. With the, um, I love the little um, indented uh, plastic. I like the molding. I like the uh, just kind of like the retro modern. It's kind of like a futuristic. Uh, it's it's just this interesting hodgepodge of, of uh, aesthetics, just that uh, triangles and the, uh, you can tell it looks like a little pizza slice or something, it's just kind of like a triangle. Um, yeah, it's, uh, Sega's always been weird with the, uh, you know, some of that uh, <laughs> symbolism, you know, the, the Sega swirl, you can look, you can research that and the triangles, uh, it looks like the eyeball and the capstone of the pyramid if you think about it, because the Dreamcast itself is kind of has the same thing going, it's just a triangle with a little circle like very interesting. Um, but the grippies on the back of this are in very good shape. This is in very good shape because and it's going to stay in good shape because I don't really use it much, but it's really like one of those where um, if it's noteworthy, I want to have it in my collection. If it is cheap, I want to have it in my collection. Um, if it's a must have, I want to have it in my collection. Um, there's going to be stuff that I'm never going to pick up. But uh, uh, this right here, um, too many people talk about it, and uh, I had to uh, have it in my collection, and I'm glad to have it. Um, it. Just look at this thing. It's awesome looking, but uh, with gameplay and whatever or whatever. Uh, I got sunlight today, and we're going to look into this, and uh, <laughs> I want to get this one knocked out because like, I'm more excited about doing other videos, actually. But <laughs> All right, Twin Sticks. I put in Soul Calibur, uh, Japanese version, because the Dreamcast Junkyard has a page on the Twin Sticks, and they had a little unofficial list of the games that are supported by the Twin Sticks. So this is what they have, roughly. Uh, there's other games that may or may not work. There's a fluorescent bulb right here, and I got a little flashlight from my phone in, hooked into the wall. I'm trying to get some good light because the um, it decided to get all cloudy and stuff. Um, it, it's just overcast. It's going to rain. Um, it's just really gray where it was really sunny earlier. I'm very disappointed. But um, officially, the Twin Sticks supports Virtua on Oratorio Tangram. And unofficially, uh, you got Out Trigger, Frame Grid, Virtua Tennis, Rush Rush Rally Racing, Sega Rally 2, Soul Calibur, Res, and Ikaruga. Um, other games may or may not work with uh, varying degrees of uh, success. But uh, I have this little uh, jammy for laptops in your lap. It's just a little foam jam. I'm going to put it around my lap. 
and I'm gonna put this on top of that. Uh, these have little little grippies, and it should be able to just kind of stay in place. I got a good little uh, setup. Um, you can see the game, but you can see some glare, so I'm gonna see if I can maybe angle that fluorescent bulb out of uh, the frame, so I'm gonna do that. Well, the lighting is slightly less bad. It looks a little dimmer, but uh, let's hit start. It's weird, there's a pause button. Eh, is this gonna be a long video? Yeah, Nam this is like Namco's only fighting game. You know, Namco's got Pac-Man, and, uh, you know, there's some other stuff I just can't think of. Pac-Man's their big guy. If it's supposed to work with this game, let's check it out. Um, for some reason, I always pick Killick, and they start you off with that guy. Uh, 16 seconds to pick. I can't be... Yeah, Maxi Pad. Maxi Pad. <laughs> By the end of this battle, his, his uniform is going to be red. I'm just button mashing, as you can see. But it looks like I'm managing. I'm doing something. Come on, man. How do I move the character? How do I... Okay. I want to throw her off the edge, you know? Come on, bitch. She deserves to get her booty kicked because of that costume she's wearing, man. It's just sour. Maxie's cool, though. Yeah, he's my... Maxie's, Maxie's awesome, man. Look at that. Looking like Elvis. Come on. Come on. Do something. Do something. What I wanted. So so caliber. If you button mash, you can do okay. <laughs> All right, let's check a different game out. Okay, I put in virtual on Oratorio Tangram. Um, yeah, we haven't covered this one yet, but uh, yeah, it's a mech game um, that is supposed to work with this game. Um, supposed to work with this controller so the game is supposed to work with the controller I never talk right let's hit that start button it has a cool little intro with a Sega Dreamcast uh, getting grafted onto a uh, big old mech start the one player mode let's just do whatever is official and whatever is gonna you know I think I picked that big green one before. That blue one looks pretty cool. I like the white one. Uh, that looks like a Ray Seal from um, Fantasy Star Online. You know, the little cute cute robots from Fantasy Star Online. They look like little maids, you know? Like little anime girls. Oh, it's selected for me. I hate it when games do that. Button mashing. Did I run out of power? <laughs> I know you saw that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Oh, 
Lost him. Where'd he go? Yeah, I could do more games. Uh, I picked out Virtua Tennis and Sega Rally. So I could do Out Trigger, Frame Gride, Rush Rush Rally Racing, or Rez or Ikaruga. Um, I, I would imagine simple beat matching games like Space Channel 5 and Pop In Music. Uh, no, Pop In Music will not work with this controller. I apologize, but. Uh, Space Channel 5 Mr. Driller would work on this, I would imagine. Um, cool deal. Yeah, let's look into Virtua Tennis. Virtua Tennis is a great game. If you like tennis. I think if you just like games, play this game. If you like Pong, and who doesn't like Pong? Virtual Tennis. It's like the best 3D version of uh, Pong. I always pick like France or Germany. I got a little bit of German in my blood. A little bit of German. Scotch, Irish, European. better with the controller, the regular controller. This is the way to go. Good old trusty is just the best. Okay, so we got Sega Rally Championship in right now. Now, I forgot to mention that Soul Calibur could be played with a fishing rod controller. I think it's slightly better with the twin sticks, actually. A little bit more playable. Seggy Rally Championship. Um, there's other little things that I'm going to forget to mention. I didn't like uh, Virtual Tennis because I had to just do, use the left stick instead of the right. So I'm right-handed. So... No name. We don't need names. Three, two, one, How did that guy from the Dreamcast Junkyard say that this was playable? Because it's not working for me. How, how's this supposed to work? I don't know if they got that uh, list right. I'll try another one or two. Yeah, Rez is working out pretty good.
Karuga works, then I'm very satisfied. Uh, this is really a pleasurable experience with the twin sticks. Ikaruga. Pretty sweet. Hey there, Space Cats. Ooh la la here coming at you from Space Boy Now. Tonight I'm investigating reports that aliens have invaded and are forcing people to dance. Playable. So as you can see, this twin stick peripheral is operable when it comes to some uh, games. I think that this has more functionality right here than the ASCII mission stick. Uh, I just think the ASCII mission stick is just a little bit more um, intimidating. This is just, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I did not try Out Trigger or Frame Gride, but, or Rush Rush Rally Racing. But uh, yeah, this is a, I, I had fun doing this. This is going to take longer to edit than some of my other videos. So this is like my epic video of the day. Twin Sticks, um, I'm happy with it. it I kind of want to play more uh Virtua On, actually. I didn't really talk about that one, but um, I remember playing it before and not really being impressed, but uh, I, I must have picked the wrong character because the character I was playing with today was pretty cool. Uh, the uh, uh, the games that I tried and everything, like Virtua Tennis was kind of a letdown. I, I don't really see how Sega Rally 2 is playable at all. I have no idea. I don't see it. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, it's kind of a cool piece. It, I I thought it was kind of worthless, but uh, now it's it's got it's okay. It's okay to have. Uh, I recommend uh, biting the bullet and getting it because I think you're going to be paying about eight hundred. No, not eighty, eighty to a hundred, not eight hundred. It's not that rare. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I recommend uh, Twin Sticks. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to review these uh, when it comes to peripherals. Uh, I think that it's a fun little novelty item. I will give it a nine because it is uh, not fully functional with all the games, but it's it's unique and uh, awesome enough. It's got a little bit of weight to it. That's what people who uh, do arcade things, uh, who, who care about arcade sticks, they're always worried about weight. has a very satisfying weight. Uh, very good grippies on the bottom. It's the same size about as the arcade stick, which I don't have, but we'll change that one day. Um, but... Yeah, the Twin Sticks, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Do I recommend? Yes, and I think that it's good for collectors and for just anybody who wants to have something neat that is Dreamcast related. Do you need it? No. Is it cool? Yes. So, yeah, I think I've said everything I need to, to say. So, thanks guys for watching and uh, yeah, y'all have a good one.